Well, we really are experiencing an explosion in connectivity. The consumer very much wants to bring their digital lifestyle into the car and they have the same experience there that they have in their office or at home. The challenge is to be able to do that and do that with uh, safety, do that with less distraction. There's already enough opportunities for distraction as it is. We don't want to bring in more opportunities for that, so our feeling is we've got active safety technology, you've got the connectivity technologies, have them both work together at the same time, bring in more connectivity, less distraction. There's no doubt the driver uh, is the weak link in the system, right? So we work on technologies that can help the driver when, when they need help. Uh, a lot of opportunities for distraction in the car already. So we provide technology with active safety to make sure that even if the driver is distracted, the car never is. It, it, it takes a, for just a half second advance notice, you can mitigate 60% of collisions, just a half second. So most of the time the drivers are aware and in the loop, so we give technology when they're out of the loop or not paying attention to bring them back in, and then failing that, active safety will be paying attention and can take over control of the car to avoid or, or mitigate a collision. Yeah, look, a long ways off, but the, the technology pass that we're on today can make a big impact in safe, green, and connected. We'll have a lot more cars produced every year by then, maybe 50% more, but I believe it'll be with 50% fewer emissions, it'll be 100% better fuel economy, and most important, maybe 50% less fatalities, 50% less accidents. That's what active safety technology can do today, and to do all that with probably 100,000 times more computational power on the car, a lot more connectivity that the consumers are, will want bringing that digital lifestyle in.